Hi, this is Darren with David Brumman Engineering. I work on automation and today I wanted to show you how you can use Cradle Point's NetCloud uh, software service to easily back up and restore or change the configuration for one of their cellular modems. I'm using the IBR 600C I'm sure that this would work with other cellular modems as well. So let's log into the NetCloud and I'll show you what you can do with that. Okay, so we will start by opening our browser and we will sign into our NetCloud account, uh, a manager, manager's account. Um, there is a difference in just getting somebody like a person who can view only, but uh, here my account has full access, so. The modem that we buy, the IBR 600C, does cost a little bit more, but this NetCloud service is included with each modem. Um, so what we have is we have this modem here, it is currently synced with the NetCloud configuration. And the neat thing about NetCloud is that it works by groups and you can configure a modem before a modem is even connected to the network, which is totally amazing, which means I can pre-configure a modem or a group of modems and not even turn them on. And when they turn them on, their modem will look for internet. Once it gets internet, it will, um, check out the NetCloud account and with the serial number, which is the MAC address, will go and get its configuration, which would, is associated by the group. This modem right here is not part of any group. And you can see over on this side, it's sync um, has been uploaded to NetCloud. So this one was previously configured directly the traditional way, logging in into the cellular modem's user interface, the UI, which is pretty handy. Um, that's pretty, what, pretty much what every other modem manufacturer does out there. Uh, the NetCloud is unique in that you can group things and you can deploy in groups, which is amazing. So we want to check this modem because we want to edit it. These are little buttons set for management. You can change the names. This one, there's only one out there, and this is where it is. So what we want to do is I want to um, create a backup for that. So this is what we want to do. We want to uh, think about this. We want to check out our groups, actually. So this one, modem, is not in any of these groups. And we want it to eventually belong into this one. So we're going to add a group and we're going to call it backup. And let's give it a date. That way it's there. And we will grab this particular modem's product, IBR 600C. That's what we're working with. I uh, this modem is working well with the net OS of 7.22.90. There is newer versions. I don't feel I need to change uh, for uh, the name of change site. So this is a new group I'm creating. And you can see it right there. So this device, we'll go back here. And we want to copy the configuration of this modem into that group which we created, which will essentially create a backup of the configuration of this modem so that we can reuse it in the future, whatever the settings that we may have, the hotspot, the um, priority, the security, the WAN to LAN, anything that you've already configured, we're going to back it up and we're going to wipe that out. So we're going to copy it and we're going to put it into our new backup group that we created. 
and basically it says that the current configuration that in this group, which is empty, will get replaced. So I am confident that this is the right thing to do. Done. So now our configuration of this modem was copied into this group. So I want to actually backdate that modem to my very first configuration. Um, long story short, it just we made some changes and we added some hotspots and we added some priorities and the people's cell phones that we were hotspotting from as a failover are gone. So it's like we don't need all that anymore. And so the easiest thing for us to do is to put this modem into this group and so next time it will get that configuration. So what you do is go back to the device and this device is currently not part of any group. You can see here it's blank. So we're gonna check on that and we are going to simply grab it and we're gonna move it into this group. So what this does, you'll see here, we'll go to the group. You can see this is the group here. This sync is the previous sync. We'll go to our group. Actually, we're gonna highlight that. A little slow, but that's okay. Um, oh, that's not what we want to. But you can see here that this router is here. There's a description, is currently not online. Our system is not turned on. Basically, it's 10.30 at night here in Edmonton. This is down in Texas, and it's waiting to get turned on in the morning. So, just so you're aware of what's gonna happen in the background, is you can see the configuration is pending. This modem is currently unconnected. So tomorrow morning when they turn it on, the modem, the cellular WAN network is gonna go and look for internet. It'll see that it's connected to internet. It'll check into the NetCloud service and it'll grab this configuration that it want to be So That's it, super simple. I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, there's so many other great features and there's so many other configurations that you can do with this little device. You know, we paid a little bit more for the modem, but it is really worth it. And as you can see, we've had other configurations. A um, little bit of a learning thing, but also these are all basically things that are going to disappear eventually when we clean up our network. So we're waiting to sync. And away we go. So if you have any questions, uh, give me a shout. I'll try and help you out. If not, your local Creative Point support engineer is available. They are amazing and always available. That's it. Have a good night. I'm logging off. Bye.